Hello everyone. In this video, we're basically going to be doing some more with animations. And we're going to allow our characters here. Well, we're going to be getting rid of the old dot there. But we're going to allow our character to have multiple different animations. And I already have animations set up for him, so I'm good with that. So the first thing we're going to need to go into is the animation. And currently, this isn't set up right. And, well, current, what I mean by that is that if you don't play the animation for a while, it's going to speed up. It's it's going to speed up so it can get to the point where it wants to be at. And that's not something we're going to be wanting. So this is an easy fix. Just change minus equals FPS to equals zero. This way it won't speed up if it just so happens to go past a certain amount of time. It won't speed up to get where it needs to go. And another thing I want to change here in animation is where we are loading the texture. And instead of having the file name be exactly that. I actually want it to where anim here would be the name of the animation and all of these would be named 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 without the an prefix. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to have file name I'm going to put a slash there and i.png. You can keep it the way it was before, but I'd actually prefer it to have it like this so that way they're not all stuck in this little animation folder and that way they can easily be found in different folders. And here I have some animations, an idle animation, and a walking animation, which I will be using for the player. So I'm just going to copy those into here so I can use them. And this is exactly how it would look so everything would be organized in the player and I would create a new animation by using player slash idle and then it'll take all of these in here so now that we're done with the animation stuff let's get on with the entity and start messing around with the entity so I'm going to get this all set up here. So animation is going to be an array. And it's also going to be called animations now. Entity is no longer going to take an animation. And instead, it's going to take an integer max animations. then animations here would equal to a new animation and we'll pass max animations for the size of the array. Now we need to add one variable here and this will be an integer. It will be called used, sorry, 
not used, use animation. And this will start off as zero. So now we need a way for the entity class like player or enemy to be able to interact with the all the animations. So we're going to be needing a couple of methods to basically set and select the animations. So the first one I'll have as protected void set animation. The parameters would be an int index and an animation of animation. Now all we have to do is basically just put animations at index equals animation. And that should be it for set animation. And if you want, you can put um, a little guard there so that way index will never be greater than the animation's length. But I'm not going to do that. And the last method we'll use is public void use animation. And it'll take an integer for index. And all we're doing is setting this use animation to index. And last but not least, down here where we have texture bind, we'll replace this with animations at use animation dot bind. So that should be it for the entity class. And now we're going to have to edit the player class. And the maximum amount of animations we'll have for right now will be one. And I'll have a public static final integer. And I'll just call it animation size. And that'll equal to one. And then I'll have one right above it. This will be called anim idle, and that'll be equal to zero. So they're basically an enumerator. All right. So instead of having one there, I'll just use anim size. Now we can set our animations. So in the we're still in the constructor. Set animation animation idle to new animation player idle. Why isn't it showing me the Oh well. Amount FPS and file name. Oh, that's why. In the animation for idle, there are 4, so 4 the FPS, I'll go with uh, 2. And then I'll use player, not anim, idle. And this will be the player when he's just 
standing there. But this is the only animation I'm going to be adding right now, just to see if everything's working. And before I run it, I am going to get rid of that entity. So that way we now only have the player. There he is. And there is one problem. Transparency doesn't work. But there is an easy solve for this. All we have to use is blending with OpenGL. So back into the game in the main in the main class. After we create GL capabilities, I don't think they're it's not all imported. No, it's not. All right. Under GL create capabilities, I'll have GL enable GL blend. So now we're in, now we have enabled GL blend, but we're not telling OpenGL what we want blended. So we need to tell OpenGL what we need to be blended. And we do this by using GL blend func. So S factor would be GL source alpha. And the D factor will be GL one minus source alpha. So this will allow us to blend the alpha channel with the colors pretty much. So now when we run it, it's all nice and blended. And you can see the grass behind the character. Look at that, he's even breathing. So let's say I want to have him have his walking animation. Well that's that's really simple. All we need to do is increase animation size, add a new static final integer. I'll call it walking, or I'll just call it walk. We'll set the animation. How many frames are in there? Four. Two player walking. Well, now that we have the animation in there, it's going to be using the idle all the time. So we have to come down here into the update. And we're going to use the movement variable that we have. So if movement.x is not equal to 0 or movement.y is not equal to 0, then we'll use the animation of walk. Else we'll use the animation of idle. So now when we run it, he should be idle, he should be walking, now he should be idle, and now he should be walking. So now he has his animations. So that is all that I have planned for this video. In the next video, we're going to be finishing our level loader. Finally. So, I will see you in the next video.